Waters, you're under arrest for the murder of Katarina Brown. Are you out of your mind? We find the defendant guilty, Your Honor. We'll get you out, Kenny! You hear me? Conviction is a movie that I directed and produced uh, that uh, opens in New York uh, on Friday, the 15th. Um, it's the true story of a woman named Betty Ann Waters whose brother was convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison. And they were poor and uh, relatively uneducated. Betty Ann had never finished night, uh, 10th grade. And um, th they, he lost all of his appeals and he had tried to commit suicide. And he promised her that he would stay alive if she would go become a lawyer. And uh, she, she promised him she'd go to law school and figure out how to get him out. It took her 18 years. And this is the story of her struggle. I was, you know, thinking about all the, the big stars, but when I saw A Million Dollar Baby, I realized that Hillary was the only person to play the part. Hillary has this quality that Betty Ann has where she has the ability to be fierce and incredibly strong and, and um, inhumanly determined, but she also has an openness and a kindness and a, a positivity about her, kind of a, Hillary's a bright light, you know, she's not, there's not a darkness to her in the way that she approaches um, in, in, in her tenacity. It's not an angry tenacity, it's, a, it's come from the heart. And that's what Betty Ann is like, so uh, she was just perfect person for it. Kenny was, uh, you know, he was no Boy Scout. Everyone adored him, and he was the most charming guy in a room, and the, the center of attention, and the class clown, and all of that incredibly positive force, but also extremely violent. Uh, had a, a trigger temper where he couldn't control his, his, his impulses at all. And he was just a magnet for trouble. And yet, you loved the guy. Um, and I needed an actor who could have that duality about him, that kind of madness about him and still love him, but also believe he, he could have committed this murder. Y yes, I had to find the right Betty Ann and Hillary, which I did. Uh, but but um, it was very difficult to, uh, to cast the part. And Sam Rockwell really as soon as I started working with him. He was the first guy I ever thought of for the part, but when we were shooting, I, I literally would wake up at night in a sweat thinking, what would I have done if I didn't have Sam? He's really brilliant in the film. I'm very excited and very proud of this film. More than anything, I think, um, for me, that I've made this film and I can sit with Betty Ann herself and she feels that it's um, an honest, true reflection of her life and, and, a, and a telling of her story that I, I felt a tremendous emotional obligation to her over the years, which is one of the things that really kept me fighting for it, um, knowing what, what she'd given up and that she had entrusted me with her s extraordinary story. So to be able to see it on a big screen and see the way audiences react to it, uh, which is very emotionally, you know, people really um, come out of this movie uh, moved. Uh, well, in my spare time, my day job, or which is usually at night, is at Promises Promises on Broadway. I've been working in the theater for my whole career and never done a musical. So, uh, uh, and this is a, just, I feel like I've been really spoiled being a part of this. You know, Sheldra, I think, often would be portrayed as just sort of this sleazy guy who doesn't really care and is taking advantage of everybody. But I thought, I know people, you know, this is a pretty human situation where someone falls in love with someone outside their marriage and get themselves in a big mess. In my first musical, I have two great songs, one comic and one ballad, and that was perfect for me in my first try uh, on a Broadway show because I didn't want to have to carry it and thought, well, let's see how this goes and kind of sneak in quietly and, uh, yeah, and, and it's really whet my appetite to do more. For me, you know, conviction feels like, uh, I think it's my best work um, uh, as a director. You know, there are a lot of people in prison today languishing in prison for crimes they didn't commit. Uh, and on the flip side, there are a lot of people who have committed crimes who are on the streets free to commit other crimes because the wrong guy or girl got nailed for it. And um, to be able to tell a story that sheds a light on that and the extraordinary work of the Innocence Project, which is kind of in the forefront of, 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 um, of all of these exonerations that are snowballing more and more. There's 260 now. Uh, people have been exonerated on, on DNA evidence. So this is a trend that's happening, and anything that can shed light on this, it feels for me, you know, I feel like I'm a part of something that's, um, you know, way beyond my career. You know, my, my career is, I care about my career, but, you know, it's not what matters in the world, you know. So to be part of a story that does is, uh, feels, feels uh, I, feel, I feel fortunate.